Okay, so what we have here today is a Dell T410, sorry. And right now it's not powering on. On the screen, on the indicator screen right here, we have like an amber lighting right here, not doing anything. When you hit the power button, nothing. But um, to diagnostic if it's the power supply's problem, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna plug it in. You're gonna plug it in. And on the back here, you're gonna notice a black, button right here. So, so you're going to hold that. It's going to power on. If anything co comes up but green, then the system, then the power supply is the problem. Right now, it's not, it's green. So that means the power supply is not the problem. It's not powering on right now. It's just like starting up all the fans. Now the only way to really turn all these fans off is to plug it out. But I'm just showing you that if it's anything but green, it's not doing this. That's the power supply problem, which then you need to replace the power supply. Oh, seems like it's going down by itself. Okay, so after like 30 seconds of the power on, we got a new message on the thing. It's saying that an intrusion 910, uh, 1910 has occurred. And right now we don't have our chassis cover right on, but saying uh, check chassis cover. So it's probably, it's, there's a 1910 intrusion, so it's probably like, Put on the chassis cover. We were trying to figure out what it was, so we're gonna put on chassis cover and see if we get anything different. Okay, so after we put on the chassis side, we got some good news. It was actually there was no error on there, and we we were able to get to like a BIOS thing where it's like strike F1 to continue. And now we're already on to powering up the Windows Small Business Server and to plan computer settings. Now just to let you know, just reminder the the button down here is right here. You're gonna have to hold that for about 15 seconds and you can let go for it to fully power on. And we, if this is like a quick fix because we actually just bought a hundred dollar PSU assuming that this the PSU was broken on here because it's a very old it's an old system so they're more expensive. But this was a quick fix that cost no money and like fifth in like five minutes of time. Also when we put in the power, the actual power button on the front here wasn't doing anything. It was unresponsive. But when we turned on the PSU, it was able to turn on everything, including the power button. And you and the power button was actually uh, working because when we put the power button, it actually turned off the system. We just did the PSU thing again. So that's why it was, it was able to be fixed. And now, as you can see, it's all paired up. You don't have a mouse plugged in, but it's able to open. It's Windows Small Business Server 2011 down your console. And it's good. All right, for a recap, if, you're, if your machine is not powering on, the power button does not work, before you buy a power supply, you have to pull down this button for 15 seconds to test if your power supply is on it. If it's anything but green, and uh, if it's anything but green, then the, then the PSU is failing, you'd have to buy another PSU. If not, powered on, it should power on by itself. <laughs>